cross platform. We got bees. We got the updated UI and different menus. I don't really necessarily love all of it right away because it's new stuff I have to learn, but uh, it's nice to be on the proper version now. So now people can't uh, heckle me for being on a different version. I'm, an, I'm now just like all of you guys. Um, so uh, we're not just going to run in circles aimlessly today. We're going to do some stuff. This is the same world as last time, obviously. Oh, there's a beehive there. And there's one more over here. This is actually the first one. That's a man-made one. Uh, and then that is what we found. Um, and it, there are no bees because it is raining. Okay. Um, let's cook some food so that we don't starve. And then let's figure out what we're going to do here today. So, uh, since it's just going to seemingly rain forever, um, we don't really have a way to interact with our bees, so let's build a fort kind of out in this meadow area. Because what we did last time, uh, in my last survival series, we built our house on a hill, which meant everything that we built, uh, in addition to it, kind of had to be scattered all around because there wasn't enough room on the hill for, like, uh, more, you know, structures. So, um, I'm not saying this is going to be the new series that's going to compete with that one or anything, but... I think, you know, obviously I, I would like to build a lot on here as time goes on, so um, let's make sure we plan ahead this time and have a little more flat space so we don't have to build ridiculous mountainous forts. I love how the amplified worlds look, but man, did it make building things a little more complicated. So let's chop down some dark oak with our wooden axe. Why do I only have a wooden axe? We are working our way there. So how are we going to make a house that's different than previously? Because I really don't want to make a boring house. I want to make something cool. In fact, let's not even call it a house. Let's call it a fort. I kind of hate myself for taking trees right off of the uh, edge of the forest here. Usually I go deeper in the forest, so it's not so awful. Dark oak trees, they have plenty of logs to go around. They're so thick. Alright, don't disturb the bees now, shall we? Alright, yeah, whatever they'll do. Hey, look, it's sunny and the bees are out. Our bee family. Very nice, very cute. There's more than one flower, guys. like my 
so that people don't get mad and also so we can see the zombies before they catch up to us. Um, I think I saw an Enderman somewhere. But guess who doesn't care about Enderman now? This guy right here. He spent so much time in our <laughs> my other survival series hunting the dang Endermen so that we could uh, fight the Ender Dragon was, which was just wonderful, but gosh darn if I didn't get sick of fighting those dang beady-eyed little endermen. Okay, so as per usual, I severely underestimated how many planks I was going to need. Um, I was trying to decide where I want the cobblestone to go. There's the enderman over there. Don't look at him. He's over there. Don't look at him. Okay, well, who cares? Let's do, um, well, for starters, let's put some in here.
next, well, I make no promises, but my next Minecraft video, uh, I think I'm gonna be playing with ASMR Gaming News. Um, I was talking to him. If I had more time, this would have been in this video, but I just got back today, and I wanted to get a video out ASAP, so I didn't want to, like, take time to, you know, line up something, but, so I'm making this just on my own, but, uh, I was talking to AGN about Whether it'll be on this world, or one of his worlds, or a different world, or a new world, who knows what we're gonna do. It's all a surprise. At this point, it's a surprise to me as well, but hopefully that works out. That would be pretty neat. I know I told people a while ago I was doing a collaboration with the ASMR Ryan. Um, and uh, the reason why that hasn't happened is because he's been super busy. I basically was just like, hey man, just let me know when you're free and uh, we'll do it and I'm just waiting on him, so if it happens, it happens, but the ball is in his court, as they say. There's our hideous donut of a house. Let's go inside. Okay. Blanks. all of it just in case. It's important jobs. Okay, so here's where things get spicy. Uh, this might be a little annoying to do, but I need the sensitivity in this game. So now we gotta do that again. Okay, so we're gonna do a layer of these. By these, I mean blanks. Um, God, how does that keep happening? I swear it wasn't me, it was the game. Okay, that time it actually was not me. If 
like anything up more than that is gonna be too much. Nice. Okay, where have we put the cobblestone? So in the PC version, you can like hold your sword and then swipe it. Like I've seen a different animation, so I thought that we're all in the same version now, but it seems like not, you know? So maybe there is yet a version gap, or maybe I just don't know how that works. Maybe it's an enchantment or something, but I kind of doubt it. Our house is in here. The basics are done. We're going to put torches in the proper place. I'll leave the grass floor for now because I don't want to spend the entire video building our new home. So let's go do something else, shall we? Let's make eight chests so that we can go like this. Silly of me. Drive by. Pew. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, what the? Okay. If you say so.
think I'd like to go a little heavier on farming this time, uh, now that we're playing again, because by the time that we had, like, a decent sized farm, we just really didn't really need it, I feel like we should do it, we did it, like, later, rather than earlier, but I feel like farms are great sources of food when you're kind of starting out, um, but we did it, like, once we had everything we wanted, and we weren't really needing it, so, uh, we'll do a farm, there's plenty of space for some sweet farms, I do more stuff with animals. I want to do more enchanting, like good enchanting. Like I want to get um, silk touch pretty early on, and I want to get uh, fortune three. Wait, why don't we have stuff to make a furnace? Oh yeah, we put our stuff away. just here for the iron. Okay, I'll be back for the rest of you. Okay. How far down does that go? It goes down, that's for sure. Okay. Homeward bound. Ah, what a beautiful day. We gotta get that crafting table off of our roof. Are gonna think we're crazy. That's right. No, no, no. That's fine. Okay. Um, oh, baby cow still out there. Heck yeah. Christmas type video um, or a New Year's video. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because because I might I might miss the window on doing it. I was gonna do like a returning your gifts that you didn't want kind of video. I mean there obviously is a time limit on doing that one, but I I mean that could be two weeks from now. Or if you're like me, you don't actually want to go return anything even if you're never gonna use it, so you just hold on to it forever and say you're gonna return it.
Sally because we're gonna have more of these uh, so check back soon for more um, and if you are like hey man I don't want to wait literal days for the next one I want Minecraft ASMR now I have plenty of freaking ASMR Minecraft on my channel so just go watch something else while you wait um, so yeah thanks for watching I will see you guys next time let me know what you want me to do I might just not do anything you say, but it doesn't hurt to give your suggestions because I took a lot of suggestions last time. I took a lot of suggestions last time, actually. So we better a little ear ear. At least suggest what I should do next. What's a good what's a good early world thing to do? Should I start setting up a farm? Should I, you know, whatever, whatever. I don't know. So let me know what I should be doing. I'll, I will have to find ways to expand our house, but I don't want to have one huge mansion of a house. I want to have a main house has all the basic functions and then you know like a shed and like a build like a blacksmith or something i don't know i like to have structures for everything if there's one thing you learn from my last series it's that i like to have lots of structures nothing huge sometimes huge but like a lot of like themed structures we're like oh we're gonna build a lighthouse we're gonna make a you know a castle for this you know a, a dock a boat uh, underwater watchtowers, that kind of thing, so, um, thank you guys so much for